So would you say, even without knowing, it's worth generally taking low-dose methylene blue? Also thoughts for women in perimenopause. What I typically do is have people start off at a lower dose, four or eight milligrams, and I increase their dose every three to five days by four milligrams, which is a quarter trochee, until they start feeling better. Uh, what does that mean? Does it mean that their, their mood is better? Does it mean that their inflammation is better? Pain, brain fog, all these things are possible. But once you find that right dose for you, that's your dose. You can take it up to twice a day, usually 8 a.m. in the morning and about one o'clock in the afternoon. And depending on why you're using it, you can use it more intermittently when you have more stress or you need more support, like when you're on an airplane, for example. Or if you have a chronic complex medical illness, you may want to be taking it regularly for a period of time. It could be two weeks, four weeks, it could be longer. This all really depends on what your goals are with the methylene blue. But in general, most of us are stressed on a regular basis, under poor lighting on a regular basis, not sleeping well, have kids that are screaming at you, and the list goes on. And so I find, at least in clinical practice, that most people benefit from a small amount of methylene blue multiple days in the week. The other aspect of this question was in perimenopause, in somebody that's in their 50s, should they think about taking methylene blue? And the answer is that I absolutely think it could be something to try. And the reason for that is that when going through perimenopause, your mitochondria are under a lot more stress. And that stress can manifest in a number of different ways. Of course, there's hormones that are going down and, and up and moving all side to side and all that craziness. But having the methylene blue on board can improve your mood. So it has a little bit of serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. These are your neurotransmitters that make you feel better. And also it's supporting your mitochondria. And in addition to that, also supporting detoxification. Mm -hmm.